And how you guys doing? Welcome to the show. It's Motorcycle Madhouse Morning Mayhem. Don't forget to go over to our Discord if you want to listen to the second half of the show with China now. Today is hump day, baby, and we're going to be talking about your favorite porn sites. It's going to get jiggy with it in the second half. First half, though, it is a slow news day, and I wanted to cover this when I had a slow news day. Usually, I really don't let things get under my skin. In this business, you got to have skin thicker than an alligator, man, because you get it from both sides. You cannot please everybody. You're going to have your haters and all that jive. But I think this one got to me. It really did. I did something over on TikTok, and it was kind of a response to this. But I wanted to use the YouTube platform, BitChute, Odyssey, and all that for a response that deserves something from this kind of shit. Uh, let's just get to it, and let me uh, read the email to you. I received this email, and you you know what? You're lucky I blacked out your stuff because I have to with this association crap, but you're lucky. That's what I can tell you. I received this on my info at insanethrottlebikernews.com. If you ever want to send me something, you can send it there. The title or the subject line was, Fuck One Percenters. Fuck One Percenters. Hollywood, you are a punk for always sticking up for those criminal motorcycle clubs. For one, I don't always stick up for clubs. I try to stay down the middle and show both sides of the stories. And yes, I do say that it's only individuals within these clubs that commit certain crimes or get into some crap because it is not everybody within the club doing it it's not no criminal enterprise like the cops would have you believe we know how the media is we try to call them out whenever we can but it ain't always sticking up for clubs so i resent that hell i get hell for it for when i put stuff out there from the clubs goes on to say I'm an independent and never felt the need to hide behind a 1% diamond. Okay, well, that is your choice. That's what's great about America is you have a choice to join something or not to join something. If you want to be independent, be independent. But why do you want to bash on what others want to do? And to say that people are hiding behind that 1% diamond is ludicrous. Why don't you say that cops are hiding behind their badge? Because you won't. Since the video that I did on fingers, that little short, I've been getting you little creeps over here on the YouTube platform. You love cops? That's on you. I don't. I think they're nothing but hypocritical fakes. Those that want to wear a badge and then jump into a three-piece rocker in a so-called club with a territorial bottom rocker and then want to bust you. It's that simple. Nothing more, nothing less. Anyone who wears that patch is nothing but a coward because they cannot stand on their own without the backup from their butt buddies. I don't know what kind of one percenters you're talking about. I have friends that are one percenters in some hard ass core clubs, and they have no problem standing on their two feet by themselves. That statement right there is broad for one. Two, you didn't provide any examples in here. All I hear is you running off at the mouth. That is what I'm hearing right now. Does it make you feel better or what? Let me know. 
because I'm sure you're going to follow up with an email about how I address this stuff. And you know what? I shouldn't have even gave you the time or day, but this one got under my skin, like I said. Without their butt buddies, those one percenters ain't jack shit. Really? Again, a lot of people I know that wear that diamond, they stand for what they believe in. Is that what bugs you? Is that they want to stand behind something that they believe in. Just because you don't believe in it, doesn't mean they don't. And is that jealousy that comes in? Yeah, I'm going to be answering that one reply on TikTok about, well, just because we don't support clubs don't, doesn't mean we don't want, you know, we want to be them or some shit like that. No, in actuality, I think you do want to be them. I think you live through other people. The internet has been something that has destroyed a lot of clubs. I, you know what? I've always been the believer of you don't put your club stuff out there, colors, anything to let people know who you are. That's just the old way of thinking. But to say somebody isn't jack shit, and I know I'm going to get a lot of people, well, why don't you just walk up and uh, tell them that? Well, we all know that ain't going to happen. It's not going to go. We know that this space we call the Internet gives you carte blanche to say whatever you want to say. Be as hypocritical as you want to be. And not pay any consequences. I wouldn't doubt somebody like this is emailing the freaking uh, about us or whatever on these club sites and giving them hell. You say you do the news, then do the news. Yeah, we have breaking stuff coming up that we cover. But we also, the reason why we do the news the way we do, to read the news as we do, is because we want to be able to retort some of the stuff that the media says. Now, if they're in the right, they're in the right. But if they're in the wrong, they're in the wrong. I don't want to hear your bullshit defending these criminals. Well, can you name one time I defended a criminal? Actually defended one. And don't come back and say, well, you said this. And you no. Listen to my statements. Very simple. But I know hooked on phonics didn't work for you. Better yet, go fuck yourself. You're no better than them. Fuck off, loser. Now, see, something like that I can take. Something like that I can take. I always take that kind of shit all the time. My problem is, it sounds like you had something happen to you. You didn't like it, and now you're spouting off. I might be wrong. You might be a cop. We get them people, okay, let's calm down, that monitor this channel all the time. So you might be a cop. You might be a fed. You might be this. You might be that. If you are, I'll debate you anytime if you're a cop. We'll put some statistics out there, everything like we did the one in Wisconsin. Didn't work out too good for him. How does it make you feel grouping an entire people into something because a couple members of their club did something stupid? And let's be honest, that's what it is. You're saying criminals. Clubs are criminals. You must have watched that freaking dumb one the other day that I did where that cop was talking about the wheels of soap. 
must have. So you're going to go right off of that, that one or two guys, or even a freaking chapter, a bunch of criminals. But do you know the truth of the matter is? A lot of members can't even afford their club dues. They got to choose between club dues and paying a bill at the house. But I guess you've never been in that position. So does that make you a criminal? Or how is it even possible that you're, you're considered a criminal organized crime and you can't even pay your dues? That right there makes entirely no sense to me. And it never has when cops put it out there. I know why cops put it out there. Because they want to pad that budget. But when individuals like yourself or any of these other people that scream and yell at the top of their lungs, you know, what are you, Erlacher's biker revolutionaries? Talking about freaking, we're going to make it to where everything, you know, we're the 99%. We do what we want to do. It's a biker revolution. Come on, really? Old, man. It's old. If you don't want to be associated with any clubs or a one percenter, then why even make your opinion known? Yeah, you're getting your five minutes of fame right now because you struck a chord. But after this, why don't you just shut up and go watch uh, a Finger's channel or Urlacher's channel and go over there and pull their peckers? Because I don't think myself and everybody else who's listening or watching really gives a crap what you think. You are probably a dropout. Because that's where most of this stuff comes from. See, after doing the, this uh, YouTube stuff for a few years and the podcast since, what, 2012, whatever the hell it is, you can right away tell what a person was just by their comments. And you sound like you have a chip on your shoulder. I suggest you go and solve that problem. Let's see if you can stand on your own and solve the problem that you have. I'm guessing you won't. I think you're using the internet to blow off steam and to label others what you want to label. That, sir, is a hypocrite. That, sir, is a coward. That's what I got to say on that. Uh, we're going to go to some cool ass music right now. In the uh, second segment, we're going to have China Dow on. We're going to be talking about your favorite porn sites. It's hump day, baby. Replay if you're listening to it on Spotify and all that good stuff. Enjoy. Again, you can listen to it on InsaneThrottleTV.com, uh, our Google uh, Play uh, app, Insane Throttle Radio. Or Discord, that's in the uh, comment section right now.